Today we're learning about tank controls. Let's get into the video. There's huge libraries out there where there are great games, but a lot of people get frustrated with trying to play a game that has tank controls. The controls actually move just like a tank turn would. So left and right means to rotate, up and down is forward and back. I got a stack of games that we're gonna learn tank controls on. So if you ever wanted to go back and play some of these great titles, then you won't have the frustration learning how to control the players. Okay, just a brief overview. When you are playing your tank control game, when you press upward, that is always forward based on what the player's direction is facing. If you press downward, then you're going to go backwards. Left and right, or left and right, whether you use the analog or the directional pad, is going to send you um, to rotate left and right. It is not an immediate walk left or walk right. It is a rotate. Now, if you notice here, as I press the left button, notice how the player rotates around. When I press up or down, the character walks forward or backward. The main thing you want to remember is pressing up, facing the direction that the player is looking at, the actual character in game. Notice how when I press left or right on the analog stick, the player rotates. It's not a direct movement left and right. Now when I press up and down, you'll notice that the character moves back and forward. But when you rotate and turn, such as right here, the buttons actually do the opposite direction. So don't worry about what uh, direction the character is facing. Just remember, up is always forward and back is always walking back. Now notice how in Tomb Raider, when I press left and right on the D-pad, it actually rotates the character. It does not move left and right. Now I'm pressing forward with a combination of left and right. And as you can see, the character rotates first. Okay, the principles don't change here. Even with a helicopter, notice that when I'm pressing up or down, that the chopper is moving forward or backward. But when I press left or right, that chopper begins to rotate. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Basically, we can conclude that anytime your player or vehicle is facing a direction, the up button is to move forward, the back button is always move away left and right are to rotate the object just like in uh, desert strike here the helicopter would move based off of what position the helicopter was facing and then whether you press the up or down button on the controller and only Misha 3 for the PlayStation 2 and also Tomb Raider 4 for the Dreamcast same concept you're basically, whatever the character's direction is facing, it doesn't matter what the angle of the room or the camera is, that upward on the controller is always moving forward, down is moving backward, left and right are to rotate. In the old school Resident Evil games, the camera angle for the room was always fixed. And this was purposefully done to leave a level of mystery and suspense in the horror game. So, your character based on which direction they are facing whether they're facing forward left or right you always press up so they walk in that direction that they're looking at in grand theft auto 5 the camera is always facing behind the character so therefore whichever direction you move they move a little bit different with a game like resident evil zero guys i really enjoyed making this video if you haven't seen my video on food franchises and video games, check out this link above right here. 
And if you haven't seen my review on the FC3000, click on this video here. Stay close to God, have fun gaming, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.